Welcome back to Marketing Champions. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host here on Daily Ad Brief. We're talking about marketing from around the country with marketing experts really bringing great concepts for their clients. Uh, we're in Minneapolis, Minnesota today, talking to Paul Bird from Minnesota Digital. And Paul, welcome to the conversation today. Thank you, Howard. I appreciate you having me on the show. Well, we're glad to have you. So you've been involved in marketing for a little while. Why don't you tell us a little bit how you got started in marketing? Sure, sure. Um, well, I started my company about six years ago now out of the Des Moines, Iowa area. Uh, we created the largest indoor digital billboard network there in Iowa. We have about 150 high traffic locations that feature our indoor digital billboard screens. And then I moved up to Minneapolis about three years ago to start a second branch. And we have about 220 screens in high traffic um, venues up here. So there's a few different sides of our business. One is we have our advertising network that we sell to local, regional, and national um, advertisers. And then two, we have a concept that we've started with uh, newspapers where we're creating indoor digital billboard networks for them. Um, we're just managing it, maintaining it, creating content for them, but it's faced by them. It's sold by their sales reps. And it features their their ad sales, their clients, uh, as well as their their news article content. So it's a really neat um, concept that we've came up with that's really caught a lot of fire. So you're proving the point that there is no place that you can't be able to market to someone. Exactly. Exactly. You know. With, uh, with everything going on online nowadays, I don't know if you're like me, but I just, I pretty much scroll by the ads that are online. I'm numb to them. Our screens are in captivated areas where people are seated for long periods of time, where they can get multiple impressions of, like I said, local, regional, and national content, and, and really get their messaging top of mind. So what type of locations do you actually have your screens in? Okay, so, so we're in um, uh, the most high traffic bars, restaurants, bar and grills. We're in DMVs, gyms, uh, nail salons, family fun centers, anywhere that um, we identify as high traffic um, and long wait times, uh, we'll put a screen in which does make sense that you're further, you have them in the DMVs. Um, it, it's really, from an advertiser's point of view, that really is the trick. How are you gonna get in front of someone and be there while they're paying attention so that they can, you can get a response? You're not always finding that online, on TV, uh, with people be having a chance to click and, and go away to, to uh, flow, fast forward through commercials. But having this as a, as an, as a, opportunity while they're just standing there having nothing else to do, they're watching the screens. What kind of responses are you getting from your clients from, from being involved with uh, this type of medium? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, um, both, both local advertisers and the newspapers, we've set up this concept with the newspapers that um, we provide basically the entire setup of the network for no cap X. So we're fronting all the money for, for these network build outs. And then we have a beautiful little ramp up period to, so the newspapers can always make money. It's never a dollar out of their pocket. Uh, but to answer your question, I mean, it's all the national brands understand that DOOH advertising, and it's gone up, I, I don't recall the percentage, it, it's, it's 10x in terms of what they're spending on it. But they know that, that uh, McDonald's knows that everybody knows who they are. But they're going to catch you with an ad when you're hungry, and, and that's going to be that decider between McDonald's or Arby's or Burger King. So from a local standpoint, do you want to be a local household name and say, my, my office is right outside of Minneapolis? Do you want everybody in Minneapolis to know who you are, to stay top of mind, to when that buying decision comes, you're the first person that they think of? It's a very powerful statement there because being one who can get that message out that people are not ignoring, that people are actually focusing on to make that decision is what marketers and, and, and companies are looking for. And it's great that you're able to provide it in obviously multiple markets and, gr and growing opportunities for you. 
So we thank you for sharing this with us. And I'm, I sense sharing it with a lot of people who are now scratching their heads saying, hey, maybe that's where I need to be uh, marketing myself. And uh, we really appreciate you, uh, you telling us your story here today. Absolutely, Howard. Well, if anybody wants to um, get a hold of me, go to minnesota-digital.com. Uh, we're creating indoor digital billboard networks for telecommunications companies, newspapers, credit unions, um, and also other ad agencies that just want to add another kind of sexy, unique product to their product line. So, uh, again, I really appreciate you having me on the show this morning, Howard, and uh, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. And thank you all for joining us today. Having that really strong tool in the toolbox can make you a very powerful marketer and great, great re uh, response for your uh, clients. So to learn more, go to dailyadbrief.com. But go out, have a great rest of the day today, and we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions.